Bang Bang, we are here in gorgeous San Diego, California, minutes away from interviewing DJ Vanilla Ace. My name is Alexander Nez. You are watching The Drop Television. stage right now and performing do you ever get nervous or what's the emotion you feel before you're about to perform in front of thousands hundreds of people uh, probably like what am I gonna play first there's always the first question I never plan anything so for me it's always like I always like to go a bit early hear what the other DJs playing kind of see what they like don't like and then it's kind of get the vibe and think what, what direction I'm gonna take Go with it. it from there yeah who are some of the artists that inspired you influenced you to be like hey I'm gonna I'm gonna take this electronic music thing I'm gonna get in that business and go with it um, well obviously I've been I've been DJing since I was younger I've always I've always liked you know early early like UK rave culture so everything from like you know rap pack to like early drum and bass to like you know hearing Daft Punk for the first time in like 97 um, you know, Armin van Helden, all the early defected records. So, how did you get your start in being a DJ, being a producer? What inspired you to do this whole thing? God, I've been DJing since I was, you know, a teenager um, in London. So I've been, you know, involved in the club scene for a long, long time. And then I kind of came up with a Vanilla Race project in the um, end of 2011, 2012. I just called I wanted to make, you know, start making, you know, Deep House, New Disco. And I didn't want to be judged or like people be like oh look he's now making this kind of music so for the for, for like the first year I didn't tell anyone you know it was me me or my project or anything like that but all the guys I like I always get them to remix me so um, I got like a, a, a new single signed to CR2 so I've asked guys like um, Cool Kid, Blend, Earstrip and Tora, Cool Cats, Cram there's so many like there's so it's, it's really healthy at the moment right. there's lots of really good producers and DJs that are like making good music. There's this misconception of electronic music. I mean, we've seen it on SNL, we've seen it on, you know, Comedy Central. They make parodies on saying that DJs just press a button and then that's that's the set. That's how you make electronic yeah. music. What do you say to that misconception? I laugh. I find it I find it hilarious. I think I saw the Saturday Night Live one where they did the ready to drop the drop the <laughs> yeah. drop the bass one. Everyone's just like, yeah, yeah it's, it's, this is my favorite song. It's, it's so funny. I mean, I laugh. I mean, I mean, it's, I mean obviously the, the main, the main thing that gets attention is the whole, you know, EDM, the Vici, David Guetta stuff, and um, but you know, it's all, you know, dance music is, you know, it's all under one roof really. I know there's different subgenres and stuff, but you know, if one, if one genre does well, it kind of helps the other genre. So when I see guys like Disclosure doing well in the US, I'm kind of like, that's good because it's not that far apart from what I'm doing. So, but you know, it's it's good. And when I see guys like Duke Dumont and like. Route 94, Gorgon City going to number one in the, in the UK. I'm like, I'm, I'm really happy. My name is Alexander Nez. And I'm Vanilla Ace, and you're watching Drop TV. See you later. <laughs>